Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this 8 bit DAC and we have been given that the full scale output voltage of this DAC is equal to 20 volt. So here for the given 8 bit input, we have been asked to find the output voltage. So for the end bit DAC, if V out is the output voltage, then this output voltage can be given as the full scale output voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 times digital input where this digital input is in the decimal so here this full scale output voltage of the DAC is equal to 20 volt and since we are using the 8 bit DAC so here n is equal to 8 and in this case this binary input is 1101011 so in the decimal that corresponds to 219 that means the output voltage of the DAC is equal to 20 volt divided by 2 to the power 8 minus 1 times 219 and this 2 to the power 8 minus 1 is equivalent to 255 that means the output voltage of the DAC will be equal to 17.17 which is roughly equal to 17 volt and hence we can say that for the given question this C is the correct answer all right so now let us move to the next example. So in this example, we have been given this R to R ladder network and we have been asked to find the output voltage. So whenever we have been given this R to R ladder type of DAC, then the input to this top resistor represents the MSB while the input to this bottom resistor represents the LSB. So in this case, this bit is the B2 while this bit is the B0. And if you have followed the video on the R to R leader type of DAC, then we have discussed that in this type of network, the output voltage V out can be given by following expression. That means the V out is equal to V reference time summation of I is equal to 0 to n minus 1 B I divided by 2 to the power n minus I, where the n represents the number of bits in the DAC, while the V reference is the reference voltage which is given to the different bits. And this bi is the binary value of the particular bit. So here this v reference is equal to 4 volt while the number of bits of the DAC is equal to 3. And here the value of these bits b2, b1 and b0 are 0, 1 and 0 respectively. So if you put all the values in the above expression then the output voltage v out is equal to 4 times 0 plus 1 by 4 plus 0. Or we can say that the output voltage is equal to 1 volt. So in this way, if you know the R to R ladder type of network and if you remember this expression, then you can easily find the output voltage. But suppose if you are not aware about this expression, then using the circuit analysis also, you can easily find the output voltage. So let us also see that. So here if you observe, then these two resistors are connected in the parallel. That means its parallel connection will be equal to 2R parallel 2R and that is equal to R. That means we can replace these two resistors by the equivalent resistance of R. And that resistor will be in series with this resistor. That means now this resistor R and this equivalent resistance will be in the series connection. And if you see their equivalent resistance, then this R equivalent will be equal to R plus R that is equal to 2R and if you see the equivalent circuit then it will look like this. So now let us apply the KCL at this node and let's say the voltage at this node is equal to VA. So applying the KCL we can write this VA divided by 2R plus VA minus VO divided by R that is this current plus VA minus 4 divided by 2R that is equal to 0 or we can say that this VA plus 2 times VA minus V0 plus VA minus 4 that is equal to 0 that means 4 VA minus 2 times V0 minus 4 is equal to 0 or we can say that this 2 times VA minus 2 is equal to V0 and let's say this is the expression number 1. Similarly, 
let us apply the KCL at this node. So applying the KCL at this node, we can write this V0 divided by 2R that is this current plus V0 minus VA divided by R that is this current is equal to 0 or we can say that this V0 plus 2 times V0 minus 2 times VA that is equal to 0 that means 3 times V0 is equal to 2VA or we can say that this VA is equal to 3 divided by 2 times V0. So now let us put the value of VA in the first expression. So if we put the value of VA then we can write this 2 times 3 divided by 2 times V0 minus 2 is equal to V0 or we can say that this 2 times V0 is equal to 2 and hence this output voltage V out is equal to 1 volt. So in this way if you do not know the expression of the R2 or leader type of network then using the nodal analysis also we can easily find the output voltage and for the given network this output voltage is equal to 1 volt and therefore for the given question this is the correct answer.